Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master. After tragedy destroyed his attempt to rebuild the Jedi Knights, Luke Skywalker vanished from the galaxy. Now the Resistance needs his help to destroy the efforts of the evil First Order. Hello and welcome to Centaurian's Corner and today we are reviewing Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master. Now it's finally there. I don't know who appointed him Master, maybe it's self-proclaimed, but here he is. He's got like a uh, kind of like a Jesus vibe and I picked this guy up for about £4.95 from Star Action Figures online. Uh, you know, four ninety four ninety five I paid for him. And I think, you know, it's kind of worthwhile. It's not too much as Curiosity Killed a Cat. Because I kind of really want to see what this guy kind of looks like. You know, maybe sort of do some alternative scenes with him. You know, of scenes that I would hopefully would have happened in Last Jedi. Uh, and this is kind of like his Force Awakens get up, I suppose, where we just kind of see him. He pulls back his hood and kind of looks meaningful at the camera. Um, you know, I'm quite glad it's not... The Last Jedi with Luke running around playing with nipples in a trench coat with a bit of dribbly green milk. But, uh, yeah. So, here's the packaging. We've got his pencil drawing on the side. Here's number 46. We've got Luke Skywalker Jedi Master yeah, with a Luke Sky written in the black. Don't know why they never shrink that down. And we've got his bio and his picture on the back. So, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. So, here he is in his blister pack. He's got no lightsaber. He's he's just kind of floating there. Um, Yeah, so, it's a bit of a shame he hasn't got any kind of sort of uh, accessories really. Um, but I suppose he didn't. But we got like there's a lightsaber hook there on the side. Uh, even though he gave up the Jedi code, you know, he still thought it's best practice just to carry that hook. So we get him out, have our first impressions. I'll take some pictures, I'll come back for a full review. Well, it's come off straight away, and uh, we'll have a look at that later. Okay, it's not too bad to be honest. I kind of thought that this was going to be one full solid piece down there. Um, and he looks a lot smaller as well out of the packet. He just kind of looked really sort of quite quite big and cumbersome to be honest. But uh, yeah, getting him out of the pack, you know, he, he looks all right actually. I'm quite kind of uh, excited to um, pose this guy around a bit. So um, I'll go away and I'll come back and we'll see you in a moment. Hello, so welcome back. I've been away with Master Skywalker, and yeah, I have to say actually that his his posability is not all that great. Uh, to be honest, he, he sort of excelled what I had expected. To be honest, I thought he was going to be a bit of a Snoke and a bit of a letdown. Maybe because that's the film has kind of made it more of a letdown than the actual character itself. And I think it's portrayed quite well over into a, a six-inch figure actually. Um, so what we do, we just go through the review and show off the bits that I kind of enjoyed from him. So unfortunately he doesn't come with many accessories, he just comes with his cape. Um, and it sits on him quite well, it, it sort of like not too baggy, just sort of fits over and on his shoulders. And it's just kind of, it's kind of like a sort of like a shoulder draped cape. Um, it has got these kind of tyres inside, but I'm still yet whether where they go. I mean they could go around 
his neck. But um, if you do that, they kind of sort of, you get this cool crunch up up here and it just shows off all the sort of embroidery and bits like that, which is not a nice kind of uh, look. If you tie it around his waist, it's obviously just it's going to fall down. So uh, I've just been plunking it on his shoulders and it's been doing the job quite nice actually. So yeah, I mean, it's just a polyester, uh, but the actual stitching on the outside is, I think it's done quite well. And it just shows off that kind of sort of like hooded look from the end of uh, Force Awakens. But we can just um, take that off. And here's the character. Yeah, I mean, as you're saying, there's, there's not really much going. But we go over his posability and then we go through his sculpt, which I think is kind of where this character comes to life, really. So with his articulation, he can do a, a left and he can do a right. He can look down and he can look up. And then his arms can come up, probably a little bit more than as normal. He's got a rotation there. He's got rotation at the elbow and he's got like a 90 degree bend in there. He's got rotation at the wrist and he's also got a hinge. And then he's kind of got a bit in forward and he can kind of come back. But unfortunately, this is where he kind of sort of uh, fails. He has got the posability there. His legs do come out. We've got an upper thigh rotation. We've got a double jointed knee. And also we've got the rocker and the pivot just on there. But unfortunately, because this is quite a thick plastic, it's a bit like the Obi-Wan, the old Obi-Wan. So he can't really kick forward much. It gets quite hindered. So you can't really do sort of like lunge sort of poses and stuff like that. It's literally just going to be sort of doing um, kind of just sort of standing there poses. I mean, you can sort of kick his leg out to the side and stuff. And I have got some quite good poses with him. Um, but yeah, just having him on the shelf and just just there, just it looks really good like with the poses. But with that, we go for his sculpt. And I think this is before the digital printing. And to be honest... I don't think it's half bad. I actually think it looks a bit like him. When he was in the box, I was a bit like, hmm. But get him out. Yeah, actually, I think, yeah. I mean, this is not the kind of look that like I wanted Luke Skull to, ha to have, like this really long hair and beard. But, um, yeah, I think they, they've they actually pulled it off, and I think this is the first time I've seen a Mark Hamill face that kind of looks a resemblance of him. Because um, still, they've still not got a young Luke kind of looking like that. So with that we go down to his robes and you can see the different textures that we have on here. We've got this sort of bubble look on here and this is more sort of matte white. Uh, and his belt's kind of like his old belt from um, Return Jedi. And it's just bland. There's not really much levering detail on there. It sort of picks up a little bit more on camera than it does with the uh, naked eye. And then he's got this kind of obi underneath but his sash sort of Jedi belt is part of that rather than actually being brown which is a bit strange. But again, we haven't got an actual lightsaber to fit on it. So, um, which is unfortunate. But looking at his arms, yeah, he's got all the sort of raffles of all his robes, but he's got this sort of like black robotic hand. It's a shame there's not really much sort of paint app in there going for it. It's just basically a, a black on a blob. But you can see the details there. Unfortunately, just not actually added to it. So, uh, yeah, but it looks all right. And then carrying on the theme down, so we've just got this sort of smooth looking parts and then we've got the bobbly bits and that's on the back as well. And just lifting up, he's just got some sort of beige, beige trousers with a little bit of texture on there. And then going down to his sort of like wrapped boots and onto his uh, standard feet. So, yeah, I mean, in all, he's not a great figure. He has, does come with all his accessories and stuff like that. But I think they got the looks there right. And, yeah, he stands well as well. Like, when posing him around, you know, he's not really top-heavy and everything like that. But, you know, this this is Luke. This is the last time we kind of really see Luke. There is kind of sort of alternative versions where we've got the younger sort of holographic sort of version of The Last Jedi bit where he fights Kylo at the end and also sort of trampy Luke. But I think out of the lot, I kind of would either prefer this one or the latter one with um, where he fights Kylo. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm quite happy with it. I, you know, I think 4.95 for this figure, you know, I feel like I've got 
way more worth of my money than I did with Snoke. So, um, yeah, it's just a shame that we can't really see the alternative universe that we could have got with Luke Skywalker. Um, so, if you want to stay tuned, it's kind of like the way I went with my pictures at the end. So, I'm going to leave it there, guys. This is my review of Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master from Force Awakens slash kind of uh, Last Jedi. And you can comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram. Subscribe. You can even ding the bell if you like. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.